But actually is so many, so many shops here. The airport is actually super, super big. Good morning guys, what's happening? What is going on? Welcome to my final day in Hong Kong. I've got my bags packed, everything is packed. And it's time to head to the airport. Bag is super heavy, but I'm going to have to carry it around all day until our flight in the evening. My back's going to break, isn't it? Final checks to make sure I have got everything. <sighs> yep. All tech equipment, all gone. Right, it's time to leave. It's time to have a little explore around this area and then grab a taxi to head to the airport. Okay, T minus, I think, six hours before we have to leave to go to the airport. However, we went just outside for a little walk and I actually managed to get a massage. It was so good and it was only 20 pounds, which is super cheap, but it is super, super humid outside. I think we're gonna grab ice cream and then just hang around before heading off. Okay, I've managed to check in. We're sitting at 21B, which means, well, it means I'm gonna be like in the middle seat, which is not the best for sleeping. However, we're heading back to London. I've got a lot of travel things coming up in the next couple of months, and I've also got some work I've got lined up, so it's gonna be busy until like the end of summer. So hopefully we go somewhere in the summer time when we can get another upgrade, but you never know. I left it pretty late, because I thought maybe if I come to the airport super early, I would've got an upgrade but that didn't happen so next time we're gonna to work towards it and maybe we'll come to a day where I'll just buy the upgrade and get business and fly somewhere super nice. Okay, I've got about two hours to kill before we need to board our flight. Time to check out some shops and then also to do a little edit because there's plugs there so I can plug my laptop in, make sure it's all charged so when I get on the plane, if I feel like doing some editing, I'll be able to like breeze through that without like without having to charge my laptop because most likely there won't be any plugs on the plane because I'm not flying business or first class or anything special. Yo, I'm just walking around. There actually is so many, so many shops here. The airport is actually super, super big. Can't believe it. It's all these fancy shops though. I don't know if there's any shops that I could actually shop in, but they're massive. Guys. Check out all the shops there are. There is so, so many of them. It's actually crazy. There's a full on Zara here, like a proper full store. It's probably bigger than some stores back in the UK. It's absolutely nuts. Like a full stock of so many things. Imagine coming to the airport being like, oh, I feel a little bit chilly. I need to buy a coat. You can literally walk into one of these shops, buy a coat, or if it's too warm, you're like, I might want to wear shorts. You can just rock up to one of these shops and buy shorts. It's absolutely incredible. I wonder if the prices are the same though back in the UK and they are here, which that would be pretty interesting if they are. Okay, this might be a weird place to vlog, but I thought I'd come in and change into my sweats so I'm super comfortable on the plane. It's gonna be a long journey. It's like 11 hours of the flight, so changing into sweats rather than wearing jeans is probably a good choice because that's what I did when I came here and I was super comfortable throughout the whole flight. Okay, all done. Now I am super, super comfortable. <laughs> okay, that was such a quick flight. I managed to get some sleep. It is currently 20 past five in the morning, UK time. But in Hong Kong time, it is literally like have to so jet lag's not kicking in just yet but I feel like it's gonna kick in later on I've got a lot of things to get up to today it's back to London back to business back to work but check this out the queue for these are always pretty insane I don't understand why people just don't like step back and wait and when you see your bag they walk in because at this rate if I see my bag 
I can't even walk in. There is far too many people at the airport for this time of day. Honestly, check it out. There are so many people here. It's half five in the morning. I'm currently now walking towards car park bay number R to grab an Uber back to my flat. Six o'clock now. I'm super tired. I need to be up and out again at eight o'clock to head in central London. It's going to be a long day. Yep. Okay, made it back to the flat. I'm currently unpacking. I am trying to sort all my stuff. I've got my washing on the go. It is currently half seven and I am tired. I don't know how I feel at the minute because I think jet lag will kick in pretty badly later on. I'm, I'm doing all right at the minute. I've got plans for stuff to happen today, so I'm doing okay. It's just a bit odd not being in Hong Kong and not having like loads of people around all the time. And I'm just back in my flat, so interestingly, it's kind of quiet and it's interesting because when I got on the plane it was pitch black for the whole time and now it's super bright. It's just an odd thing, getting a flight at 12 o'clock at night time and then arriving somewhere at 4 o'clock in the morning, which has only been 4 hours but it's actually been like 12. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but what I do know is I am going to end my vlog here because I'm going to start my other vlog in like half an hour's time. I just need to charge some of my camera battery so everything's charged and ready to go for another day. I just wanna thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me to Hong Kong to go discover my roots, to show you some of the parts that my parents grew up in, but mainly just Hong Kong in general. That's where my family are from and it was super cool just to go explore, see a lot of family, eat a lot of great food. Now coming back to London, have to cook for myself again, but that's another challenge itself. But yeah, let's end this vlog. I hope you guys have had a good day, no matter what you've getting up to. And if you are new here, thank you so much for subscribing. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. In the meantime, I'll catch you guys, well, it'll be in a couple of hours time. I'll catch you guys then.